On the other side of the world, all the way in Sydney, charity founder Mababa Rawi is speaking to her staff member based in the Afghan capital. This is what she learned. People of Kabul uh, are worried because uh, there is uh, no uh, uh, bright future for them because the, the Taliban... Rawi fled Afghanistan when Russia invaded and moved to Australia as an 18-year-old in 1984. After losing her six-year-old son in 1992 in a drowning accident, Rawi made a promise to dedicate herself to helping disadvantaged Afghan women and children, starting the not-for-profit Mababa's Promise. The charity now includes four orphanages, a medical clinic and five schools. I feel fear of uh, life of my children. I am the mother of 1,000 kids and um, I am worried about their safety and security and I'm worried about what might happen in the future for my work. I work very, very hard and I want uh, to continue my, my work until the day I die and uh, hopefully uh, they will respect that. The Taliban have been putting on a moderate face, promising no retribution against opponents and respect for the rights of women, minorities and foreigners. But many Afghans are sceptical. Rawi is worried about the welfare of the children and widows, having to relocate the children from one orphanage to another as the Taliban advanced. Rawi is also calling for Australia to do its part. I really want uh, uh, Australian government and Australian people to stood by my children and stood by me as a mother of thousand children to remove my children to some safety zone.